Hey, it's Dave Wyman here uh, doing Chalk Talk. We're going to call it Football 101. How about that? Because Brock does Chalk Talk, and it's usually offensive plays. Football 101 is something that I've been doing for the last 10 or 12 years for the Seahawks, just doing some basic terminology and things so people can better understand the game. And Of course, we've got a Seahawk play here that we're going to look at. But uh, some of the terms here that we'll talk about today cover three tight end flex, skinny post, and then uh, these are unofficial terms that are mine or guys that I played with in my era, hospital ball and alligator arms. So we'll talk about that later. But first I want to talk about the Seahawks and what they really like running is cover three, which is a zone drop. Now we know in pass coverage there's man-to-man -man and then there's zone. And there's actually sometimes a little bit of mixture of the two. And I'll give you an example of that later. But what we're going to talk about here is cover three and the play that we'll see is a cover three. And what that means, and whenever we talk about coverage is how the, the deep part of the field is divided up by the defensive backs. And deep part of the field to me is about 15 yards beyond the line of scrimmage and to the goal line. And so how many guys are going to drop deep? And I showed you cover two. So first of all, let's do the math. You've got four rushers and you've got if you have three deep, that's seven guys, okay, and that means you got four guys left to drop underneath. Now, here's the thing with, with cover three, and first of all, let me draw it out. So typically, the corners come back, and this guy's got a third. The safety, which is Earl, he has the deep middle, and then the other corner is going to drop back in this other deep third, and then all the rest of these guys are underneath droppers. Now, if, like I said, if you do the math, there's always four rushers. If you've only got two guys deep and it's cover two, that means you got an extra dropper underneath here. So instead of only four droppers, in this case, this is cover three, you got one backer, the other backer, the strong safety, and the nickel. These guys are dropping underneath. Those are your four underneath droppers. If you have cover two, which uh, the Seahawks, I'd say, run that a little bit uh, less than they do cover three, that means you got more droppers underneath. You got five guys and two guys deep. And a lot of people complain about the Seahawks getting passes completed on them underneath in the underneath zones. But, you know, that's because you're playing cover three and you're, you're making sure you're protecting the deep part of the field. That's how you really don't want to get burned deep. You'd much rather have them have to dink and dunk the ball down the field. And that's what happens because you've got one less dropper in zone in, uh, in a cover three in, in the underneath zones. Okay, you've only got four guys, so two backers, strong safety, and nickel. So there's cover three. And I'm going to talk about a play that, uh, that Philadelphia ran. And really quick before I get into it, I want to kind of reference a play that was the week before against the New England Patriots. And everybody remembers the big hit that Earl put on uh, Rob Gronkowski. And in this case, uh, Gronkowski was lined up in here is a little bit different. It was kind of a cover three look, but the one thing that they did different, and I said that uh, sometimes they'll combine man and zone. On the play against uh, Gronkowski, they actually had Cam Chancellor come up here and run man to man, even though everybody else was playing zone. Or, um, Cam came up and he ran man to man with uh, Gronkowski down the field, and he ends up knocking the ball away, but Earl reads this and comes and blows up <laughs> Gronkowski right there and actually ended up perforating his lung or something like that so he had to go out of the game and so um, this film goes around the league and I guarantee you the Philadelphia Eagles saw this and the tight ends all saw this that uh, Earl the human missile is going to come up there and separate you from the ball and possibly separate you from your head. So um, go back to uh, Philadelphia this last week and look at they were running a cover three zone in this uh, in this situation. Now, I have Flex up here. They had their tight end. I mentioned Gronkowski was in here. Um, actually, the tight end for the Eagles was flexed out. So he was out here instead of on the line of scrimmage. And it was the same type of deal where they had a, a cover three look but um, they didn't have, you know, Cam up there running man-to-man -man with the tight end. They just, he's flexed out here. So that anytime you hear that. One of the things about cover three, so you got 
three guys dropping deep here. You'll hear a term sometimes called a skinny post. And the old post route used to be that you just run down the field and straight towards the middle. And the reason why is because they called it that because you're going towards the goal post. But a skinny post is something that is kind of it's been known to beat cover three and what what they're doing is they're running it at less of an angle so it's more like that and the idea behind that is that you're going to be able to get in between these two deep droppers okay but except this is Earl Thomas and you can't get in between him so <laughs> what happened is they did try to run the skinny post so corner comes and he's staying on the outside of him Earl drops and then just races towards him and looks like there's going to be a huge explosion and it doesn't happen but first of all Carson Wentz throws what I like to call, this is the fourth thing on the list, the hospital ball. Now, now they have all of this protection for receivers, but it used to be that your quarterback would never lead you into that kind of a collision. And so it used to be that uh, you know the receiver would come back and get mad at the quarterback. Now you get a penalty if somebody blows you up in here. But a hospital ball is what was commonly referred to as a ball that the quarterback threw and uh, it was gonna lead the receiver into danger. And basically, that's what Carson Wentz threw. We'll give him a break, though, because he's a rookie, right? And then the other thing, and this is another unofficial term, is uh, the tight end got alligator arms, and that's where <laughs> you get scared and you, you think you're going to get hit and your arms kind of come in. And so if you look at the play, it ends up being uh, an incomplete pass right here. Uh, Earl actually runs past him, and then he starts jumping around. He's really frustrated because he really wanted to get a big hit there. But I guarantee you this tight end saw what happened with Gronkowski er, uh, the week before, and that kind of film goes around the NFL and then you know you you see uh, what happens there and you kind of knew what was coming so um, yeah, I thought that was just an intimidation factor right there coming from Earl but unfortunately we're not going to have Earl this week but there you go you got cover three you got a flex tight end you got the skinny post and then the hospital ball and the alligator arms the unofficial terms there we'll talk to you next week